Anyways, uh, I'm glad you're here. This is the Zombies Review. This is to help you understand the basic fundamentals of setting up your zombie map so you can, you know, understand without getting frustrated and getting killed in the first round, fourth round, whatever round you, you just can't get past. And at least this will help you get the tools and, and then look for a backdrop or a certain spot that you don't want to pass where you continuously are able to kill zombies and and um, keep your streak going alive I'm sure there will be other people who find that particular path but in this video I'm just gonna show you how to set it up how to get there and even even this video as early as it is and it's out in the community it might be wrong but at least this gives you a starting point so the first thing you want to do is that you have the quick revive you're, you're in the lobby this is the first zombie map that you'll be on and um, the, the biggest thing is you want to start off getting points so building up your kitty and um, and, the, and the, one of, the one thing that I learned is if you're playing by yourself you want to be able to control the zombies so it's easier to kill them when they're they're focused on taking the boards off the windows at this time because they're not moving all around and you don't miss their head and they don't decide that one of them wants to hurry up and scurry and take off and try to get you so the, the first thing you want to do is is basically you know take a couple shots in their body and then knife them um, as I was doing earlier on and then after you knife them and you build up your first points of 1500 points then you want to go left to the lobby and get you the RPL. RPL is great because the great thing about it is that as I've figured out in this game is that you're pretty much in the SMGs you're going to be able to shoot off the hip and you're going to be able to shoot off the hip and pretty much get headshots so you really don't have to ADS with this this weapon and that pretty much gives you you know the ability to just pop people in their head and have the agility to move away from zombies that are moving fast or whatever it is so, as you can see right here, I have the, the room left to the lobby set up. And when you got the room left to the lobby set up, you only have to worry about the, the two doors to the, the right and left. And as long as you, you know, kill the zombies, you get a little headshot, and you got the reload there, and they got the boards, you got money coming in from killing the zombies, or the, the points coming in from the zombies. And you, are, and you also have an escape entrance in the back. So you have enough money if there's enough, if there's too many zombies coming at you that you could run out that back door. And you just lead them on to. But here's the point. You're at the left of the room, the left, uh, room to the left of the lobby. And you want to build up as much points as possible because what this will do for you um, will help you reach your uh, end goal. And that is to get like those dual wielding rocket 911 M911 uh, pistols, and um, and have enough money for the uh, teddy bear box or whatever you call it, the, the the gun box. But this will help you get to that that phase where you have enough money to um, what is it? Better equip your weapon or what do they morph it? I don't know. I'm not a zombie player, so I don't really know. But the point is, is that um, the servers are not up, and this is all I've got to play. And it's kind of like, okay, let me figure out zombies. I mean, really, zombies is a great game. I mean, zombies is better than this, than the single player for sure. But um, you can, uh, like, you can see right here, like they try to send three, and then I just shut them down. And see. This is the thing, you know, you put up your boards and you can hit the X button and you can still look in front of you. So you pretty much got control over everything. And as long as you put up one or two boards, you pretty much know you're not going to have a zombie sneak up and slap you in the back of your head and take you out. And so pretty much, um, you know, got the insta kill reloaded, come back down here, pretty much easy work. And then I, I board up my doors again. And then the whole purpose is, once I think you reach to level five or six, I start re realizing the numbers, and they, and they, um, I think it's every 
every five or every six you wind up getting like dogs or and then the other one it's some crazy dude running around but you know you want to make sure that you have a nice backdrop for these dogs because they are ridiculously unpredictable as far as the animation goes in the animal itself so here I realized that I needed a, a revive because it's important to have a revive because you never know you might have a zombie sneak up behind you and slap you and then well, then you'll get frustrated because you didn't have a revive but I think you only get a revive every six to ten man I don't know how many it is yet I'm sure somebody will write a fact on it you know it's like you only get two revives for every 10 or 15 rounds I'm not really sure so use them wisely and try to stay alive so you can see here I'm going for headshots get a reload take these guys out get a reload and then look you know you can just sense they're on your back you, you only it's kinda like you're a quarterback you got three seconds you got three seconds tops in the pocket so you better do something so um, I'm basically I'm holding down these two sides and uh, I'm just waiting it, now I'm to the point where okay I know the dogs are coming up soon here I get lucky and get a hammer so that really helps me out so now I can just sit back reload and wait and probably I would have been more effective if I wouldn't reload and spend 500 points every single time you know this is something that you know you'll learn over time to like you know uh, uh, balance out everything you got pretty much um, kind of like accounting you know you just you want to be really reserved on everything that you have and account for everything you know use it to the last drop but if you don't take too many reloads or if you don't have enough reloads and then all of a sudden you get this mass of zombies on top of you you're gonna need you you want to have you want to have a full clip because if you don't have a, a back door or at least an, an entrance to get out of there you know you're pretty much uh, you're dead and then all that work that you put in like I said in zombies you don't start back where you left off I mean you gotta start all over again and that's the great thing about this game there's no uh, save button none of that I mean you have to you know um, you have to uh, remember where you left off and go from there now you can see the zombies are starting to come up on me I get lucky and I get a nuke you gotta be careful on that. When you get the nuke and they're right there, they won't die instantaneously. They'll die like dominoes, so they might still kill you. Now here I'm saving my insta kill, and this is awesome because this is when the dogs pop out in round seven, and uh, and I got very lucky. This doesn't always happen, but you look at the background that I got set up. Um, I just make sure that they, they're not gonna really spawn behind me. If they do, I'll hear them. But this is how easy it is when you got insta kill and the dogs are just coming right at you. What's great about the dogs is is when you got great weapons later on in this game, as you'll see, the last dog that you kill you'll always get ammo from, and that is a lifesaver. As you see right here. So here I am, I'm I'm up to round seven. I mean I pretty much could have went infinite in this game if I found the right backdrop. As you can see, I was pretty much holding it down right here. If uh, maybe this is what I need to do, and I really just, now that I'm watching this video, I'm realizing instead of going the way I went, I should go back up around the other way and then get the great weapons and then just sit in this room right here. And I, all I got to do is look down this hallway. Maybe that's what I need to do. That, As you can see, as the game goes along, you'll realize that that uh, you know you want to have a spot where you don't have too much to worry about and I think that you know even though you know even though it got really hairy I think this will be the I think this will be the room in a multiplayer map because if you got guys set up in here you pretty much can control that hallway and they're all just gonna be coming down the hallway and then I left to see that back door I just knew it got a little too hairy this is the way I would I would go but now that I know the whole map I, I've, I would just leave that door blocked off and go up and around and you'll see what I'm talking about and and this is the thing you know um, and these these uh, teddy bear cases or these gun boxes they move all the time and right here I got killed because I just 
uh, I made an assumption that this was the last zombie and I didn't want to kill him because I wanted to use the um, I wanted to use the last zombie because you always want to keep one zombie running around so that way you can get everything you need to get done and get your bearings and get your bearings straight and you see right here I didn't want to get killed again on accident so I was like let me get my second revive I wish I don't want I wish I wouldn't have used my first revive but let me get my second revive so I'm I'm uh, waiting for him and then obviously he can't attack me from that side so I come back through and go to the teddy box and um, and I and I get these and see every teddy box has a map above them so then you know where you're at so here I'm out in the alley get a machine gun nah, not really feeling it I don't want a machine gun the RPL is so good it kills so it's got such off the hip shooting headshots at